I'm going to take a look at the upload and compare features within SET. SET stands for System Engineering Tool. This is the tool that Trend Controls uses to program all their controllers. So what I have here, I just started a new project called Upload Test. I don't have anything set up in it other than a site connection. Uh, so to get started, first of all, we need to refresh System View. It's going to go out there, find all the controllers. And we're going to pick on this one right here. If we refresh this address module, it's going to tell us what kind of controller it is, what the firmware is, and we're going to need to know that. This is an IQ396, and we can see it's version 311. So to get the file from the controller, we're going to just add it to the transfer list. If you right click on the controller, it'll bring up this menu and add to transfer list. So this transfer list can be used to pull um, the controller files. You can either download them or upload them with this tool, and you can do multiples at a time. I just have the one here, so that's all. But if I had a LAN full of controllers, I could right-click on the LAN, add to transfer list, and it would add every controller underneath that LAN. So we got the controller that we want to pull the file from. I got upload selected. I'm going to click the button, and it's going to go out grab that file from the controller. All right, we got the file. A um, couple things to note on this. Usually when I pull these files in, I want to go check and make sure that they're named correctly. Um, sometimes if you're directly connected to a controller, they're going to come in as LAN zero. If you go you know, in your set projects, your project name, you're going to have an upload folder, and that's where this file is going to get stuck. This is LAN 11, Outstation 14, which matches, and that's good. Sometimes if you're direct connected, this will be LAN 000. Well, when you do the compare, that's not going to work. You'll have to give that, rename that file so that the LAN number matches. So we got our file. We need to, in project view, create this LAN. This is LAN 11. This is an IQ3. I know this is an Ethernet LAN. If this was ECOS, the MSTP devices, you'd have to select, make your LAN type a uh, trend MSTP. Anything else, the IQ2s, 1s, 3s, and 4s are all on the IQ LAN. So now we got our LAN 11, and we need to insert a device. This is a compare feature, right? So we're going to compare one that's in our project view, which is what's stored on your hard drive, to the actual file that the controller is running. So this is an IQ3, and it was firmware 311. So we need to select that, uh, and it was an IQ396. If you pull a file from a controller and this firmware match, firmware version doesn't match, the compare is going to fail. It's got to be the correct controller and the correct firmware level for the compare feature to work correctly. Give it an address that matches the controller that we just pulled in. So it's 14 in this case. Give it a name. This is 4C1. And from here, we're just going to accept all the defaults. Uh, the newest version of set makes you put users in. It just Basically, type the password in there to make it happy. Again, or just accepting all the defaults. So now we got a blank controller. It's just got these two users that it puts in by default. So the next step, now that we got the controller, a blank controller set up of the right type, the right firmware, we need to hit this little box to put the check mark in there that tells the project compare that this is the controller we want to compare. And then go up into the menu under project, project compare. I just hit OK on this. <clears throat> You're going to want to uncheck this print report file in most cases. Uh, that'll send all the changes to your printer, which usually ends up being 20, 30 pages of stuff. Um, so I'm going to uncheck that, hit Start. And it's going to go through the process of uh, taking that file and converting it to something we can see in Project View. So let that go for a minute.
And there it goes. Let's open up this controller and see what we got. So when you do an upload and compare, uh, if you're doing it from a blank file, you're going to notice that set by default turns on all these display options for every block. To clean that up real quick, you can start turning them off and get all the extra junk out of the way. A few things to note on this, because we started from a blank file, any text that was in the program is not stored in the controller. So if there was notes on what the strategy was doing, you're going to lose those. Connectives are another thing that gets lost. So some of these pages will turn into a little bit of spaghetti, but all in all, you get to uh, a strategy that you can clean up pretty quickly. And that's really all there is to it. The biggest two problems that you're going to run into with upload and compare is not having the correct firmware and controller type. If those don't match, again, the compare won't work. And sometimes when you use the transfer list to pull in the files, they come in as LAN zero. You may have to go into your set projects folder, go on the upload, and uh, change that LAN number to match what it really is.